Chief Ortiz, are you aware that there was an explosive device found by Border Patrol agents on January 17th in an area called No Man's Land? And there's surveillance of who put it there. And guess what? It wasn't Americans. It was cartels. Are you aware of that? The only thing that's in No Man's Land is Marjorie Green's brain. Let's be clear on that. But what she's doing is uh, fear mongering about a an alleged bomb that was placed by members of the cartel against uh, the border patrol. That is that is what she believes is going on. Uh, what she's actually referring to is very different. Uh, it is not a bomb. It is a sack of sand. We'll get to that in a moment. But first, uh, she did ask Border Patrol Chief Raul Ortiz about the explosive device supposedly found at the border. Here's what he had to say about the confidential claims that she brought up. I will tell you that uh, some of this information that uh, I receive, I receive in a a, a confidential uh, skiff. So I'm going to be a little hesitant of briefing what I know and what I don't know with respect to some of those, an event like that. I understand Chief Ortiz, but I'm not going to be confidential because I think people deserve to know. Our border patrol agents should not be in those type of conditions where they are at risk of being blown to pieces by the cartels, who by the way, are criminals. And and they should be treated as as such. As a matter of fact, I've co-sponsored legislation to declare war on the cartels because they are definitely declaring war on us. Mm, mm, strong, strong. Now, what's the bomb that she's referring to? Well, uh, she repeated the claim later on Twitter. Like the image itself is kind of hilarious. But um, explosive found by Border Patrol agents on January 17th. Agents have surveillance of who brought it in and when and confirmed it was the cartel. This changes everything, she says. Not only are the cartels murdering Americans every day through drugs and crime, but now they are planting bombs on our land in our country. Our US military needs to take action against the Mexican cartels and this cartel led war against America. She calling for war with Mexico over cartels because that's what Lindsey Graham had floated recently. And that would be insane. It would be absolutely insane. But was it a bomb? Um, Turns out. No, it wasn't a bomb. And that's according to pretty right wing outlets, to be honest with you. So let's go to Bill Malusion from Fox LA. Uh, A high level CBP border official uh, source tells me that this was a fake and was actually filled with dirt. It was discovered by Border Patrol agents in Rio Grande City uh, in the RGV, and while it appears nefarious, I'm told it did not contain any explosives. It was literally a ball of dirt wrapped in duct tape. That's what that was. But maybe we should be afraid, RM. Maybe we should still be afraid of the sack of dirt. Um, and I'm not talking about the sack of dirt that's otherwise known as Marjorie Green. I'm talking about the sack of dirt we saw in the image that was tweeted out by her. Oh, hey. <laughs> um, yeah, no, totally. Uh, this is sort of like, you know, like uh, I saw a picture of fentanyl and I fainted sort of stuff, right? It feels like that kind of thing. Um, oh, there's danger around every corner, you know what I mean? Um, but I, Marjorie Taylor Greene is, I think, what the Zoomers have a term for this. It's extra. She's very extra. <laughs> She's a bit on the hectic side. Her energy's out of control. She's doing those crazy CrossFit movements, <laughs> and uh, I think that maybe knocked something loose in the in the brain area. But you know that that's her thing. That's her thing. So uh, you know, God bless Marjorie. T- God, God is, bless MGD, MTG. The thing is, like, you don't you don't have to make things up to communicate yeah. that the cartel is bad. You get what I'm saying? Like the sure. cartel's bad. The yeah. Cartels recently murdered two Americans that had traveled to Mexico for cosmetic surgery. Like you don't need to make things up. We already know they're bad. So the question is, okay, number one, uh, we're not gonna go to war with the cartels because that would require us to go to war with Mexico where they operate. I'm sure Mexico (laughs) wouldn't be into that. Uh, But Mm -hmm. the other thing is, okay, so if you're concerned about the border, you're concerned about border security, you're concerned about immigration, all of these things that she claims to be concerned about. 
outside of the theater that she engages in and regularly engages in in order to make it appear as though she's governing, to make it appear as though she's really looking out for Americans, why doesn't she actually do her job? And you know, propose immigration reform bills, propose solutions to her perceived you know, problems in America. She doesn't do any of that. She talked about, you know, oh, I, I, I am announcing or proposing a bill that we should go to war with cartels. What does that mean? What do you mean you're gonna go to war with the cartels? What does that mean? It's all for show, it's all theater, it's all ridiculous. And it appears what sparked it was a sack of dirt. But by the way, she doesn't even believe that it's a sack of dirt. It doesn't matter how many people fact check her. She says, that's not what the border patrol agents are telling me. <laughs> Which border patrol agents? Why don't you name names? And there is, <laughs> there is pictures and video surveillance of a man walking and placing this device and then walking away in no man's land where only the cartels and human trafficking take place. In other words, what you're telling me doesn't jive with my narrative, you know? So I'm just gonna say that others told me otherwise and move on with my life. It's amazing. Absolutely. There's also like it, it is sort of treating Americans like they're stupid because really, if you really wanted to talk about this, we would talk about the economic situation that created the cartels. You know what I mean? We would talk about demand and the history of how the cartels formed. There's none of that. She's doing, like you said, theater. It's good guys and bad guys, and I'm on the good guy side, right, guys? I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do. I'm not going to do any real work ever. Um, that's one of MTG's big things: not doing work ever. <laughs> right. Um, and 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 that and you know that's it. You know it it it, it does infantilize um, Americans and normal people, which they you know people are smart. People can understand if you if you you know if we if we respected people, they would get it. You know, and Absolutely. and we could learn from this. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then finally, Chief Raul Ortiz uh, did yet another fact check. Today I testified before the Committee on Homeland Security and it was alleged that agents found an explosive device near the border. During a January briefing, leadership was notified that agents found a duct taped ball filled with sand that wasn't deemed a threat to agents or the public. So. And Marjorie Green responded to that and she's still trying to further the narrative. It is it is what it is. This is who she is. This is what she does. And and to your point figuring out what to do about the demand for drugs which empowers the cartels in the first place is a difficult thing to deal with. A difficult issue to find solutions to. Because most people who feel stable economically, stable in every way in their lives, are not tempted to, to use fentanyl or to use meth or to use some of these drugs that people are now overdosing and dying from in this country. So are they gonna address those underlying economic concerns? And the answer is no. Why would they when they're paid not to? So anyway. Like if I were Marjorie Green and I was genuinely as passionate about the American people as she alleges to be, I'd make sure that they're made whole. I'd make sure that their wages are good. I'd make sure that every family has enough money to provide shelter and food for their kids. She's not concerned with any of that. She's concerned with a duct tape ball of sand. That is Marjorie Green's number one issue. It's sensational. You yeah. know, it's exciting. Oh, bomb, bomb, a sand bomb, you know. It's it's great theater, you know what I mean? Totally. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.